Maybe I'm blind, maybe I'm blind Oh, I couldn't see you shine And shimmer right in front of my eyes Front of my eyes, oh no I want to welcome to the show today, Matt Hires. Matt, thanks for coming. Thanks so much for having me out. Yes, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. Really good. Uh, so you're in Nashville now. I am. I moved up the day after Christmas from, from Tampa up to Nashville. I'm loving it so far. Yes, and you, you're, fi you're becoming a Nashvillian. I think so. I guess so. Like, it's starting to feel like home. It's, I've been here like two months now, I guess, and it, it still feels like I'm just like maybe on tour or just on vacation or something. But every day it feels a little more like home. And you're so busy, so I'm sure adjusting to the life, it's like, oh my goodness, 12 million things to do. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, moving is so, it, it's overwhelming and stressful, um, but all of the boxes are almost unpacked at this point. There's still <laughs> some hanging around, but you know. <laughs> it, it takes a while, it takes a while. Yeah. This is permanent, so you're gonna adjust it. Now, you've moved from Tampa. Mm -hmm. Growing up in Tampa, where did you get your start in music? I started playing music when well, my dad was a musician. He was a drummer and did like he was in a touring band and stuff when he was uh, when he was my age. So I kind of grew up with it. He was way into like the Beatles and Simon and Garfunkel and Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young and stuff like that. So I grew up listening to a lot of that music. And then around I guess like eleven or twelve years old, um, my parents encouraged my brother and I to both start playing instruments. Well, I guess before that they encouraged. Me, they wanted me to do piano and do piano lessons, but I didn't want to do that because piano wasn't cool. Um, at this point, I wish I had stuck with piano because <laughs> it would have helped me later in life. But uh, my brother started playing guitar, so I wanted to do something different. So I started playing bass guitar and did that for a while. And then once I was like 16, 17, I started writing songs and it was kind of hard to do on a bass. So I slowly like learned Transition how to <laughs> yeah, play use all six strings of a guitar. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And so you found your love for music in, in a bass that eventually mm -hmm. left you, led you to a guitar. Yeah. That's great. And so you started playing. Did you go out and do shows around Tampa or? Yeah. I, <clears throat> like playing, performing was always something that was, it was, I'm an introvert. So it was like terrifying for me at first, but then like it started out where I would play in front of like family or like, friends and or my brother's right. friends or something like that and then eventually I, I started a band and once you have a band you kind of have to play shows so we started playing <laughs> shows and I just started going into the whole um, stage performance thing and it's been it's been a slow build but I think I can I think I can do an okay job of it now. Yeah, I think you can <laughs> Great and so that all led you to a record deal with F-Stop in Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Now Talk about how how did they how did you how did you get signed by them? They actually found my music on this was two thousand seven, so they found my music on MySpace. Wow! I, had, I just started like, doing yeah, like doing the solo thing, and um, somebody from Atlantic like randomly heard "Honey, Let Me Sing You a Song" yeah. on MySpace and loved it, and so stuff kind of happened from there. And before I knew it, I was making a record in Los Angeles and doing it for real. Yes, and take us back to the start. Mm -hmm. Had your song, Honey, Let Me Sing Your Song. Yeah. And that was on what movie? It was in, it was in When in Rome. Yeah. And like a couple TV shows and stuff. It was crazy. Yeah, and you, Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. that Was that mind-boggling to you? Did you understand? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess I didn't really, like, at the first time my song was in a TV show, you're like, oh sweet, my song's going to be in a TV show, but then you're watching and it like actually comes on. It's like, wow, like tons of people are watching this right now and listening. It's a really like emotional scene. So everybody's yeah. crying probably watching <laughs> this and hearing my song. And my sales are going <laughs> up. Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Look at 